Where were the babies? Right here. One, one was in this arm and one was in this arm. Uh, I never saw my three-year-old because my face couldn't turn that way, but I did see the baby, um, and he uh, cried, and then he just stopped. So um, at that time, I thought he was sick. <laughs> oh, God. But he was sick. I never heard my three-year-old say anything. Did Jalil die in your arms? Yeah. She brought the infant, and there was a shard of glass deep in the back of her head, and she was bleeding to death. She was saying, it's not breathing, she's not breathing. And she saw her baby was alive, and she was already dead. The baby was already dead. The mother came back out after that, and then she brought in a dead infant, and then we set her on the couch. And the, she said she was, he wasn't breathing. They were lying in my, uh, our living room. They were dead. She was a little girl that was friends with my daughter. I knew her family, and her whole family was killed in the tornado, all seven of them. And after the tornado, they found everybody but her. I, me and my kids went to search for her. We, we, we started at where she lived at, and we walked and walked and moved things and moved debris. And, and then when we found the little girl, she, her body was literally wrapped around a tree. And I'm like, I mean, it was one of the hardest things that a person would ever have to go through is to literally you're, you're, you're out searching for someone and you're begging, you know, God, please let me find this person alive. But then you find them and